What's going on, guys? Lone Driver Mike again, bringing you another video. And guys, sorry, my bad. In this video, we're gonna talk about ordering from Bevmo. Now, last night I got a funny, I got a funny call from DoorDash. They asked me if I can get give the customer his points because he ordered so much alcohol. Because like. If you if you like get a like rewards card from like a certain like restaurant or like a store, you can get a lot of points. I don't know if you can hear me. I have my AC on. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. So like you can get a lot of points, and then you can get like free alcohol or, or like you know twenty dollars off your next like you know like oh you 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 know you spent like a thousand dollars so you know you're getting like twenty bucks or hundred bucks or something. You, you like generate points. So, like, people, like, it's funny, like, not even BevMo, but, um, like, Mukuni orders and just, like, some random orders, like, some customers would be like, oh, use my rewards card and give me my points. And I'm just like, I can't do that, but I just, I just don't do it. I just ask, I usually ask, like, well, the first time I saw that from Mukuni, I was like, oh, can I get the rewards points? And they're like, no for the customer and they're like no so like I didn't tell the customer anything so she's probably thinking like she's getting her points but she's not so guys just a heads up if you do if you do DoorDash delivery and you ask us like the driver to oh can we get our points and all this even if they say yeah sure sure they're lying to you you don't get your points like th that's not how it works like if you want your points you have to physically go to the restaurant and buy it or buy your alcohol and slide your card and then you get your points and present your ID and all that. You can't get your points from freaking DoorDash. You know what I'm saying? You can't be lazy. You can't be lazy and expect to get your points and stay at home and get your alcohol and then still get your points and not leave your house and go get your points yourself. It doesn't work like that. So like anyways, so yeah, I ended up getting a $90 alcohol order from BevMo. It was like $90. It was two two bottles of Jameson it's like Irish whiskey or something it's like they were both like two liters they were like the biggest bottle I've ever seen I'm like damn and then they got like a club soda so that cost them about ninety dollars so I mean I can understand like you, you spend ninety dollars in in on money you know so you want those points and I mean that adds up so I mean I totally understand so when DoorDash called me I was like I was like hey what's up you know and then you know, sometimes like they're, they're from a different country or they have like an accent. So I'm just like, I couldn't understand what she was saying. So I'm like, can you repeat yourself? I'm like, yeah, I have two orders here. You gave me a batch order. One was for BevMo and one was for uh, PF Chang. So I'm like, so what's up? Yeah, I'm on the way. So what's going on? And then finally she's like, okay, hold on. Let me clear my throat. And then she was trying to talk. I mean, it's fine, but it's like, you know, they're not from America. So I mean, DoorDash, they... They hire all their the, their call centers and their call workers. They're like overseas, and I mean, like, that's just how it is. So, like, when they're asking me about this and that, sometimes I can't even understand what they're saying. I'm like, can you can you hold on here? Let me pull over. Let me figure out what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, she said, "Yeah, can you?" Uh, the customer's requesting to um, uh, get his points on his card because he's spending uh, a lot of money. You know. And I just stopped her right there and I said, look, I already, I, I'm almost 99, 95. I said, I'm almost 95% sure they're not going to do that because other places don't do that. Like you can't just order delivery and still get your points. Like that's not how it works because the order goes through the DoorDash system. So like there's no way you can like slide your card or on the DoorDash app. It's the transaction is through DoorDash. So actually um, when I got there, he told me all the points actually go to DoorDash, so they can get a lot of free alcohol, but I don't know how they would do that. Maybe the CEO can get free alcohol? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so she's like, yeah, can you just get the points? And I'm like, look, I'm almost 95% sure that the customer won't, won't get their points because they just – that's they don't do that. They just don't do that. Like if you want a DoorDash order, if you want your – alcohol delivered it doesn't qualify you don't get your points like you forfeit your points you have to physically go to bevmo buy it and slide your card and that's how you get your points so i'm just like let me ask like i'm, I'm not gonna just say no like i'm gonna ask them she's like okay okay i will text you the 
the the at the customer's point the rewards point number i said okay whatever you know what i'm saying so i said okay whatever so i asked the front the the front um the front clerk i said hey this is a weird question but do you think the customer can get his get their points still even though they use doordash and he didn't know he's like i don't think so but let me ask so i'm just like okay whatever because i want to do the right thing you know i don't want to lie and say okay yeah you can't get your points but then you really can so i just you know she's like let me get let me get let me get the, the manager real quick and he's cool he's a really cool guy like i always see him in there he knows my name. Oh, hey, Mike, or whatever. What's your order number? Or what's your order? Actually, they don't even ask that. They just say, oh, DoorDash, okay, it's over there. So, like, with the DoorDash orders with BevMo, they have, like, a little cart, and they have the receipt. And sometimes you'll see, like, four orders, so be careful. So make sure you grab the right one. So it's just literally sitting there. So, like, all the orders are there, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's easy. You just go in, you grab it. And then they have like empty boxes, so you can like grab a box if there's like a lot of like uh, alcohol or bottles and stuff. So that's kind of cool. So it's kind of like self-serve, you, you know, you, you just you get the bottles and you leave. Like you don't have to check with no one. So anyways, I told DoorDash representative, I said, okay, fine, let me check. So then I get in, you know, talk to the clerk, and then all of a sudden, I, he's like, okay, let me ask the manager, and the manager come out. And I asked him, I'm like, do you think, can the customer get the points? Because they're wondering about the points. And he's, he likes, he started laughing a little bit. And uh, he's like, oh, I didn't mean to laugh at you. I said, no, no, it's cool. I think it's it's funny too. But I mean, it, it DoorDash called me and they need me, they needed me to ask the manager, like, can, can they get the points? Because they're spending $90. And he's like, I totally understand, but they can't, they can't be lazy and stay at, stay at the house. This was his words. He said they can't be lazy and get it delivered and still to still expect the points like you have to physically come here and anyways it's on a different system they told me this is this transaction is done through the doordash app so there's no possible way there's no possible way to give them the points because the points are going to the doordash it's going through the doordash doordash app it's not done through bevmo it's done through the doordash tablet so he's like there's absolutely no way our money, the money that we get from the customer, it comes directly from, from BevMo. So like there's no way, or not BevMo, but DoorDash. So he said, there's absolutely no way for us to give them the points. There's no way because the account is connected to DoorDash. It's not connected to the customer. It's connected to the DoorDash app. So if you want your points, the customer has to physically come in, show his BevMo card, show his ID, and then he slides it. Whatever money you spent, okay, you get 90 points for spending $90 or whatever it is you know or double 180 points for $90 I don't know how it goes so he was just like laughing about it he's like yeah that's not how it works like that's they they will not get the points there's no way to do it so sorry it's that's not this is the door this is the DoorDash delivery it's it's the DoorDash app if it's done through our system if it's done through our cashier we have a system, we have a, uh, the rewards, uh, you can slide your rewards card, but you can't slide your rewards card on the on the DoorDash, you know what I'm saying? So he was laughing, and he like picked up the tablet, he's like, look, you see what I'm saying? There's nowhere to slide. I said, no, I get it, I get it. So we kind of like both laughed about it, but then I got, I, backed, I got back to my job. I'm like, okay, I understand, okay, whatever. So I found the order, they, they text me the order, all the number, so then I was about to call DoorDash, right? whatever but first i loaded it in my car so i loaded the alcohol in my car this was like i said this was 90 dollar orders two bottles of jamison they're both about 1.75 liters so that's a, it's a pretty much the biggest bottle you can get so it was a lot of alcohol um i get in my car all of a sudden i get a text message oh a uh, customer canceled i'm like are you kidding me so the customer canceled right but the doordash told the customer they're like, okay, go ahead and ask, but I'm going to tell the customer most likely it's going to be a no. So when they called the customer, he probably got pissed and he wanted his points. And it's like, dude, you're doing delivery. You know what I'm saying? If you if you want your points that bad, he got so upset over it. He actually canceled his order. He might even just went to go just buy it himself so he can get the points. I mean, I guess he loves points that much. I mean, I don't know. Like, do you want your points or do you want it delivered to your door? You can't have both. 
that's what the door that's what the uh, bevmo manager told me like you can't have both you can't get your points and be lazy and and stay at your house you know what i'm saying on your on, on your butt and just collect the alcohol and then then still get your points he said that's not how it works so i mean like i totally understand like and plus he said it's a different system doordash's system is different we can't there's no possible way to give them the point unless you actually come in and we do it through our register but the transaction was done on the doordash app so it wasn't done on our system it wasn't done on our bevmo uh computer system so there's no way to give them the points he said you see what i'm saying so i said no i understand but let me just call the customer once i load it in the car and all that he's like okay cool so um he confirmed my the alcohol and all this so he said yep it's right there and then he said boxes are free take whatever you need so i got in the car i was about to call him and I was about to drive off to the second order, which was P.F. Chang's. And, um, hold, uh, you know, I look at my phone and it says, customer, sorry, uh, the b customer from BevMo canceled his order. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I like, I couldn't believe it. Like this guy literally canceled his alcohol order because he didn't get his points. I mean, I'm sorry. And this goes for anyone that's trying to get your rewards points. Like I've seen... One lady always starts to get her like Makuni points. Like you, you're not getting your points. I'm sorry. Every time you do sushi, every time you do DoorDash or you do delivery, everyone tells me like you can't, the customer can't get their points. They have to physically come inside so we can do it on our system because it's through the DoorDash app. There's no way to give give the give the customer the points on the DoorDash app. There's there's no way because the money is given. The, the money comes from DoorDash. The restaurant gets paid from DoorDash because the customer pays DoorDash and then DoorDash pays the customer usually through the tablet. So he said there's no, they all tell us there's no way in hell that we can give them the points. Like either they want the points that bad and they have to come get their butt in their car and drive over here or they just want to be lazy and have it delivered and then pay the fees and for, for the convenience to have it delivered so I mean I understand so that's that's how it is so just let you guys know if you're trying to do alcohol delivery or PF Chang's or um, McCoonies and you got a rewards card and you're like hey get, add my points please you know I blah 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 greatly appreciate it there's no way to do it you can't you can't get your points you know what I'm saying so there's no way to get your points at all so that's that's how that goes and so um yeah he just ended up canceling so it's like okay wow so then i ended up getting half the payment which was like three bucks because it was only like a six dollar payout and then right after that I, I was doing my pf changs i finished that order that was like about fifty dollar order and i got eleven dollar pay uh twelve dollar payout so the tip was about eleven bucks so they tip pretty pretty good like twenty percent maybe a little bit more than that <clears throat> so i was pretty happy like even though they canceled i didn't get the full amount for the bevmo i got three dollars for that and then i got twelve dollars from pf changs so that was fifteen dollars from for for both of those and then since it was canceled i got to keep the alcohol like that's just how it is like i, I even at orientation the doordash orientation the office like he even told me like yeah if it's canceled you just keep the alcohol you want to drink it or you want to drink it later he he, he, he kind of joked he's like try not to drink it like while you're dashing because you don't want to get a dui and that's not good and all that so he was like joking about it but then he was like he was being serious he's like seriously don't don't drink it like if, if you want to drink it then you have to go home and stop dashing because like you're going to get a dui and then we're going to get notified or whatever i don't know what he was talking about but basically you know don't drink and drive is what he was trying to say, but <clears throat> but he said you can keep it. But I personally don't drink, so usually I'll give it to like Andrew. He's like one of my subscribers and one of my good friends. I signed him up for DoorDash, like he didn't know anything about DoorDash, and I got him on top of it. I got him, I got I got my bonus. He got his bonus. He's a really good friend of mine, but he does like alcohol. So I was like, I was gonna give him the alcohol, but like the last few days he's been he's been going out clubbing and he's been drinking a lot. So um. You know he, he needs to he needs to work and dash so i don't think it'd be a good idea to give him these bottles 
Um, and I was going to give it to like a random customer. But yeah, because I one time I did that. Like I had a canceled, I had a canceled order from like uh, alcohol. And then like my last order, she ordered alcohol. So I was just like, you know what? She's ordering alcohol. So I gave her like two bottles of wine. She was so happy. Or was it one or two? Yeah. No, I gave her one bottle because I gave that other bottle to Andrew, I think. So, yeah. So that customer was really happy because she got her alcohol that she ordered. And then she she got another good bottle of wine. It was like a $30, 30 or $40 bottle of wine. It, I mean, it was expensive. This The stuff I get that they, they don't answer the door or... They end up canceling their order. I mean, it's these are expensive bottle, bottles of wine or alcohol or liquor or hard liquor or whatever. So, I mean, who knows? You might get lucky and get a free bottle of alcohol from me. I mean, I still have them. You know, like I said, two bottles of two bottles of Jameson and some club soda. So, I'm not sure. I may give it to Andrew later, but right now he's he's drinking too much. And, you know, he needs to focus on work. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not... I don't think it's a good idea to give it to him. But anyways, and plus I don't drink. I was even thinking about giving it to like one of the restaurants, like Orchard Thai. I think I think they like wine. The manager, I think he likes wine or something. Cuz I see on top there like there's like wine bottles and stuff, so uh I ran a red light. Anyways, um yeah, so long story short, guys, if you if you're trying to deliver if you're trying to deliver alcohol or the customer, you're trying to order, order, you know, DoorDash and you want your points, you're not going to get your points. And to dashers, if they want their points, just tell them, no, you, you can't get them. You know what I'm saying? And if they, they, they want to talk to the manager, you tell Bebmo, hey, hey, can, can you tell this customer they're not getting their points and explain why? Because, you know, some, some people, some customers like think you're lying. Some customers think you're like flat out lying. So, I mean, if that's what it's going to have to take, then get the manager on the phone and, hey, can you just explain to my customer they're not getting their points for whatever reason? And then that's it. Because, I mean, you know, these these customers expect us to do this and that. And, you know, I mean, really, we're just the middle guy. We're just we just deliver the alcohol. We just deliver the food like any issues with your order or if we're late, if there's problems, it's. It's usually those factors are, are out of our hands. So, I mean, I try to tell customers that now and they expect too much of us and they want their points and they want this and that or they want us to be early. And it's like restaurants are backed up, kitchens backed up. Sometimes the DoorDash app glitches out. Sometimes they miss your order and they're like, oh, well, I wanted three burgers, but they only got two. And then I show them my app. I'm like, look, only two burgers. And they're getting pissed at me. And I'm like... Look, man, it's the DoorDash app. It got glitched out or the restaurant forgot your stuff or they made it wrong. And so just just explain to these customers like this is out of my hand. Like this was not my fault. And you have to you have to let them know, because if not and you just take the blame, then they have all they have all the right in the world to just rate you bad. But if you put your foot down and say, well, there was traffic, it's not my fault or oh, they made your order wrong. I don't know. Oh, I didn't get my cheese on my burger. Well, I don't know. I don't cook it. You know, so just let them know like, hey, like, I'm sorry for what happened. Sometimes they try to call you up and they, they expect you to fix it. But it's like, I just deliver the food and I got another order. So you tell them, hey, if you want the DoorDash number, I'll give it to you. If you want the restaurant's number, I'll give it to you. But other than that, I can't do nothing. Like, I'm not customer service. I can't fix your order. There's nothing I can do. Like, this was out of my hands. So that's what you need to tell the customers. And then, like, as far as, like, they 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 wanting their points. Oh, I need my Bevmo points. Just say, hey, sorry, you can't get them. And that's it. That's all you got to say. So, anyways, that's all I've got to say today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please share my videos. I'm tr like, I, like I said before, I'm trying to get big. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And guys, I will see you next time. And adios. Stay cool. See ya.